And welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Undying Control. Let's bring this deck back. This was a donation deck from a viewer about a week ago and you know we did well with it but it was just a lot of fun to play. It was just a pretty interesting deck to build a control deck around the, und the Undying. Control seems to be very popular right now anyway. I think I think control decks are uh, being built better and, and more effective and, and everything. And uh, Shadow Isles in particular seems like the the control region uh, that and, and Piltover and, uh, and Zahn because of Ezreal, of course, and Progress Day. But um, yeah, this this deck is this is this is a little bit different. This one's a little spicy. We got the Undying, um, you know, basically the just it's really hard to kill this thing. And, you know, it's basically impossible to kill this thing. And you just, you know, play this out, keep attacking, and then try to keep killing their stuff. Like, it works great with Ruination, because, you know, uh, your opponent has to try to race you, which it's very easy to race the Undying, and but, but like, they can't just race with, like, one creature usually. So, like, they have to, like, start playing other creatures out, and then sets up your Ruinations. Which is a pretty interesting uh, deck idea. So, uh, we we have we have like the ability to be aggressive with Elise and hapless aristocrat and the spiders and everything, <clears throat> but then of course we are just overall a control. And you know Hecarim can finish games out quickly, but overall we are a control deck with Grass, Withering Whale, the Ledros was super key. But let's give this let's uh, run it back. You know like that's a deck I wanted to go back to after playing it last time. So here we go. We're gonna go play five matches. We are five decks of five games each for today. So we got three favorites. We're, we're running back Undying Control, Teemo Wayfinder, Frostbite Midrange, and then two new ones that I haven't played yet uh, Bannerman Noxus using House Spider instead of Zed, you know, for like your Bannerman deck instead of Bannerman Zed, which is what we're playing against right now. Looks like Bannerman Zed. And uh, I want to try that out because I've you know, heard people say they like that more. Um. Oh, Elise. Where are you? Hey, Fish. No, no, I don't have any any desire to play Hearthstone. You can probably just get rid of that. No, 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 no. Hey, Katie Dexterity. There's a chill in the air. Without a sound. This is kind of rough. Yeah, this is kind of rough. Okay. So we gotta survive until turn six. Oh. Just to block that. Oh no, Black Spear, I need you. So I think my plan is go with the Undying and then able to, on their turn, absorb Soul, the Undying, and then Black Spear. But I guess I guess we're going to have a thing die anyway, so I'd be able to do Black Spear anyway. So maybe I should have just Shadow Assassined.
won't get away. Well, this was a fast game. Not a good fast game for us. Not a good fast game at all. Yeah, this game's already over. They follow the wrong okay. That was like a warm up game, basically. <laughs> that was not a good game. Lucian and Zed, pretty strong. Cards are pretty good. I think this is the Karina ver I think this is the Karina control that we're planning on playing later. I think that's the the deck that plays only at least for a champion. So that's that's what I'm expecting here is Karina control, which um, obviously we're gonna keep these two and the Hecarim really isn't that bad either, because that can be a difficult card to deal with. I think I'm gonna keep Hecarim also. We don't attack turn six, so this would be like something on like turn seven, I guess, that I want to play like on their end step. And then just untap and attack immediately with it. I, must get out of here. I think that's that's the plan. Considering just using Glimpse Beyond and drawing two cards because of how bad our hand is, but we are going to be able to play Shadow Assassin the next turn. Yeah, it's not too bad. These things are pretty fearsome. Can't really block either one. Okay. Well, this was not Karina control. So two options. Um, play the box. So the box does three, four, five, six. Yeah, the box would do six damage. Could kill all of those. If I play Withering Whale, um, you know, we get we start getting some damage on these. We're like a Withering Whale the next turn. We get some more damage on these. Because I'd like Withering Whale. I'd have like this block here. Too late for you. I don't really love love the Withering Whale option. We're just gonna cast the box. some new cards. Hey Josh, it's going good. How are you doing? <laughs> All the withering whales, none no grasp of the undying. Like grasp would kill stuff. They cannot hide. No grasps. Go 
Withering Whale does get rid of all those, though. My true beauty is beneath your skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. with the lease who just can't play anything. Um... <laughs> yeah, our deck is not really about blocking. So next turn we're going to have 7, 8, 9, 10, 3, 7, 8. Like if I play, if I play the Undying, we only have 8 mana. With this we have 7. We'll get the attack in for two. <clears throat> Play Ruination. They get a 4-4, I get a 1-1. One, one. I really hope they don't have more fearsome creatures. I wouldn't mind if they have, like, another Brood Awakening and go wide, because I have the Withering Whales. So, like, Brood Awakening's fine. These fearsome creatures... This is not good, though. No, these fearsome creatures aren't good at all. So I'm only going to have 8 mana, so I'm not going to have enough to play my, you know, play 2 Withering Whales. No, I haven't, Josh. No, this will be my first time playing that. Yeah, playing the Karina control will be my first time. I hope this works. This would put us to one. Okay, well, we're down to one. But down to one's not dead. So next turn, nine mana. Or a bank the three and have twelve. Alright, we gotta get rid of... Maybe it's this this Freljord board that we're working with. This Iceborne Peak. We gotta go over to the Cursed Ruins. I guess we need our... Is this the Ionia one? Yeah, Ionia. Okay. All right, so now we got the deck's mostly all Shadow Isles, so we got the Shadow Isles board, and then it's a little bit of Ionia. So we got the Ionia uh, pet. Oh, awesome! That's great, Dio. Dio says loving the content, Hawktie. Keep keep up the cool list. Appreciate the explanations. Shenlux. Let me keep the Vile Feast and get rid of the rest. Appreciate the explanation of thought process behind playing cards when you play them and whatnot. 
climbed from silver four to plat three in a day thanks to you mogwai and the swim going for masters this weekend good luck dio you can do it come closer i don't you got it yeah you're already in yeah you went from silver four to plat three that's a long ways in one day that's awesome what what were you uh using to climb All right, so they got their six drop. Hey, and now Dio getting the sub. Thanks, Kitty Dexterity. Thank you, thank you. Ah, good move there. My opponent's probably like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm sorry. Okay, so they're going to do, what, Challenger my Elise, and I can't stop that. So, I have two options. I let it happen or I glimpse beyond, and I think I'm supposed to let it happen. And get this thing down to being a 5 2. That's gross. I wish they didn't. Yeah, like that. The remembrance hitting this card. This is pretty gross. All right, draw some cards. Okay, you're playing the Karina Veraza and a Spider Karma and then a Noxus War Mother's deck. Awesome. Yeah, good job. Yeah, not a fan of long games. Not, not all games are that long, though. Like, this isn't... This game doesn't take the longest, necessarily. I could have used my three mana for Black Spear on that thing. They're just passing. But that's why I wanted to bank the three mana, because I wanted to play Ruination. Obviously, Deny would be the worst case scenario. I was hoping they were going to play something else, too, though. Play, like, a Luxia or something. That would have been cool. Well, darn. Last time, like, they've hit the, the best cards to hit. And last time the Challenger was the best, this time this Lifelinker is the best. WQ. Yeah, I've played a yeah River Shaper Fiora deck. Magic. I've played a River Shaper Fiora deck before. If that's that's what you mean by spell Fiora.
Oh, okay, cool. Thanks, WQ. So box box would only do three damage to the persuader, and that's it. And so I use the the black spear because using black spear saves me with three mana for next turn, where box would only give me two mana for next turn. still great awesome means the elite they got off of the 5-4 the swiftwing lancer whenever they created an elite they got the the worst one the one four magic has no place here um you know we're still at 15 seems like they've attacked for more than that That's not good. Like, so basically, they're gonna have a lot of barriers in hand, right? Like, that's that's what their hands build with. Our barriers. I don't know how I want to do this, as you can tell. I'm gonna just take the damage. So we'll use, we'll grasp this, they use a barrier, then we Vile Feast that barrier. We could do the same thing to the 3-2 if we want. But, you know, the Undying... Oh, they did not use a barrier. Bleh. Um, do, 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 do. Well, it is not great. That is not great. Nine damage on that thing is gonna be tough. A tribute to the fire god. It's gonna be a lot of damage. Lady Elise, where are you? A pretty present you make. Yeah, it's true. We could draw vengeance. That's true. We do have two vengeances in here, and there's another ruination because we have three ruination. I will keep us safe. 13 mana. Do I need 13 mana? 
Or do I play this thing? I play, you know, play this. We'd have ten mana. Ten will be acceptable. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Always bragging about the light following around. Vengeance. That's not bad. Oh. I thought I was going to be able to play that and Withering Whale. Never mind, that is bad. Oh, I only have seven. I can't do Black Spear and Withering Whale. So I can do, what, Vile Feast and Grasp? You cannot escape. I guess I can do the box and vile feast. Mm -hmm. Box doesn't really matter. I think grass is probably better to use. So I want to use. No, we use the box. Okay. So this is going to be Vile Feasting, the Lux to get rid of the barrier, bleh. It's unfortunate at instant speed removal. That's a good one. That'll play. That'll play. Just withering whale. The withering whale kills those two. No, because then they just bear. No, they just bury in response. Or this is drain four from our unit, so like it doesn't it's not just kill. So like the undying is a seven seven. We can't just kill the undying with this thing right now. Not, what would punish me for playing Hecarim? Because I can't think of anything. Oh, they have like like burst spell, create final spark. No, that doesn't punish me. Yeah. Shine with me. Oh, well, I'll just attack. All right, the undying. So there we go. So that we need a couple warm up games, but that's really what our deck's all about. We get the undying, and. Get to attack with that. And, you know, we got to just attack over and over and over. They extend. We wipe the board. We still keep attacking. Ah, 
<laughs> hey, Vitable. I guess that that's a new thing you can change it to. I missed that. All right, so we got a platinum chest here. We got five commons. Three of them looks like we already had. Plus, ooh. An epic, an epic wild card, a rare, a rare wild card, and another common. And some shards. So tomorrow, this is the last day of the Legends of Runeterra week. We're going to get the vault tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow it's going to be exciting. It's going to be how many levels, you know, are we going to be leveling up with the cap of level 13 removed? Not sure if y'all... Second. Just a little sleepy puppy. Sleepy puppy. So cute. I should probably look at what my actual hand is while I still have time. Um, picture in the background. There we go. Hey, Sultani. Elise, where are you? The other one in the back is like the same thing. I don't know if I can lift this up. If I can. Uh, no, I, I can't really. Uh, I can try to move out of the way. The other one's laying down back there too. Just like that. What if I do this? Uh, nope. That doesn't work either. No, 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 no. Right. Oh no, I can't quite get out of the way enough. Oh well. Sorry, but anyway, they're they're both laying down on their beds. All happy and everything. Taking some naps. Strength and grace, beauty is the place. Oh, Laurent Protege. So two four. So I can do three damage to it right now. Hmm. To the base. I demand satisfaction. Fair. Aha. Eat up, friend. Cool. So we have to get rid of it. You know, of course, if, if I cast that pre-combat, then they have the war chefs pump that up. But since they didn't have the war chefs pump it up, if they would have had the war chefs, so my plan there, if they would have had war chefs pump up the two four, then I would have used glimpse beyond, and sacrificed. There's nothing to fear. Smell that? A fight to cook it. You won't suffer long. Hmm. It's basically this. If I let that damage happen, the warships only takes one damage because that that plus one plus one's gonna go away. So it only takes one damage, and that doesn't seem worth it. For justice, for Demacia. Uh, 
Can't do it. I can't kill Garen. Where's our vengeance? We need to draw vengeance. Or ruination. So we have two vengeance, three ruination. We have not found either one. Oh, I should I should absorb soul this. Yeah, I should just absorb soul that so they don't get the Garen strike. There's ruination. I guess I didn't get my attack for two in. Head to the base. Eat up, friend. Yep, I should have. These are fearsome. I really should have used that absorb soul the, the previous turn. I wish I did. Now Garen's going to level up, which isn't a big deal because we're going to kill this Garen, but the next Garen they play, that's why it's a big deal. We must not relax. Oh, you're playing on mobile right now, Viduel? Yeah, Hecarim's good in our deck. We have to win the game somehow, and Hecarim does a good job doing that. Yeah, I think Hecarim's good. New recruit reporting in. Break their spirit and their sword. I want to bank this two mana for next turn so that I can double double Withering Whale. Like, my plan is double Withering Whale, which I'll have nine mana, so I had to at least save. So I had to, to be able to play two Withering Whales this turn, I had to at least save um, one mana. Or saving two. Can I, I can cast both of them, right? Like, right now? Yeah. So that seems like it's going to be working out pretty well. We'll see what else they got, though. So you can play through an API on mobile right now, for those of y'all that have Androids or understand what that means. That's the word on the street. I don't know anything about that. I have an, I have an iPhone myself. I don't know what an API is or anything, but I remember we were talking about that in chat yesterday. This this Ithria sounds like a like a four year old. You know, like, I'll write my own stories. Alright, it's so gonna sack this, draw two. Yeah, I think I think you could definitely play Karma instead of Hecarim. Yeah, you could probably do that. Yeah, I mean Karma is very very good as well. So yeah, I think I think that's an option. I think that's a good option.
No, how many? You said yesterday you learned there's three Cythrias. Are there? Are there more than that? How many Cythrias are there? So obviously, right now, you know, here we have Cythria of Cloudfield and Cythria the Bold. I feel like there's more. Like that's that's not all the Cythrias. I know what lurks in the shadows. Because then, like, so what's the other? What other Cythrias are there? I know, I know there's a Cythria in Garen's art. And the Vanguard Squire. Okay, so that's three. And then what about the Cythria on Garen's art? So that's that's four, right? If you look at Garen. In the background, Cythria's chilling. Do we count that? I guess that's cards with Cythria in the art. Not, I guess, not necessarily Cythrias. Like, if you look at all the spider cards, this this guy is in a lot of the spider cards. This hapless aristocrat. Yeah, I think the one in the Garen art is this one, the Cythria of Cloudfield. It's that one. All right, so those last two games are starting to see what our deck can do. You know, Ruinations are awesome. So our decks looked a lot better the last two games. All right, where's Garen? See, there's Cythria back there. That looks like the Cythria of, of Cloudfield. The T2 Cythria. Hey, Vice, going good. Going good. Let's take a look at the spiders. Some of these. All right, not this one. The house spider? Nope. This doll thing back here is pretty freaky, though. All right, so here, here's the. So that's the same guy again. See the guy with the flowers. The hapless aristocrat. Like the, that's the, that same guy. Um, here's the arachnid host. There's that guy. He's like, no, take the flowers. No. Oh, do you see? Oh, yeah. Elise back here. Elise is like chilling back here. Oh, I think you're right. I think that is the warden's prey guy. And then, and then the frenzied skitter, that's, you know, like there's the flowers there. That's him being wrapped up by the skitter. There's the flowers there. They can spin a web the size of a man in less than a minute. Would you like a demonstration? And then, is this that same guy? No, that's a different guy. But yeah, so there's... Um. <clears throat> yeah, yep, that's the same guy on Warden's Prey. See, there he is with his flowers. Who is he taking these flowers to? Is he trying to take the flowers to Elise or, or what? Hey, Theodore Monkey, I'm doing good. But yeah, there's Thresh, just chilling. Thresh, like, is always looking for people, but can never find them, right? Like, Thresh is like, where'd that hapless aristocrat go? Dude, check out those keys. Because Thresh is like, where did Santa go? Thresh just always, like, that's all Thresh does is look for stuff. 
I wonder why typing in Warden brings up Thresh, though. There's not the word Warden on any of these. So I wonder why typing in the word Warden brings up Thresh. I guess because the the picture of Thresh? I don't know. That's kind of weird. Oh, it's in the text on the art. The Warden's right behind you. Ah, so Thresh is the Warden. And this is the Warden. So, so this guy is not only like Elise's prey and gets wrapped up by the spiders, but is also the Warden's prey. Man, poor guy. So Thresh's full title is Thresh the Chain Warden. Hey Revwelki. Hey Boot. Doing good. So who do you, who do y'all think that, that that hapless aristocrat was bringing those flowers to? Or I guess that's the Warden's prey was bringing the flowers cuz this aristocrat looks different, but this one's like Lady Elise, where'd you go? Um, Trindamir Thresh. Like, do I even keep this card? I don't think so. It's like a 1 1. It's not going to really do the difference of between winning and losing. Yeah, that's the card I want. Because Trindamir Thresh is probably a control deck. And against the control deck, I want uh, the Undying. And I want. I must get out of um, What's it called? Uh, my three mana 2-2 two, two that draws a card. I want the things that draw cards. W WQ says, I think Elise. And then in the, it says in the art that he's taken that one on a date. Watch Callista lore or Ledros. There is Thresh also explained to Hecarim, Ruined King, and Whole Shadow Isles beginning. Okay. Yeah, that'd be a cool... See, that's what I'm saying. I, I want them to... See, I've never played League of Legends. I don't know all the characters from League, but... That'd be really cool if they just started making, like... You know, I don't know, movies or TV... You know, TV episodes or anything of just, like... You know, they could have like a TV show of like Sat of the Shadow Isles, and have all their stories and everything. And, you know, it could be animated. Those little like two-minute clips they do are really cool. I think that's all we're doing. So we have double box, double absorb soul. Our hand's kind of weird. You see the Debastian border here. Okay, Elise can f fool pe people with her beauty. And so that's what she does to the aristocrat. There is no way to hide. Um, dang, I wish I had one more mana and I could double box. I don't even need to double box. So taking the three first, and then we'll gain our four back. Get this thing to be a five-five. Turn Thresh into being a three-two. Three damage. But when, it, of course, it'd be nice to draw cards. Like the earlier you draw cards, the better. But I also wanted to um, 
I wanted to use those things that, that drained four while I could. Alright, so I could glimpse beyond that, but we're gonna, just going to let it happen so I can glimpse beyond my 5-5. Five five. Four out of six. So this will just be five out of six. So that'll be bad if they have like Vile Feast or something that kills these things and make it six. Yuck. Oh, well, that's bad. That's really bad. Playing with fire there. Now, I don't know what we're doing about Trindamir. I smell a fight. What did I spend all that mana on? Hecarim? I really should not have played Hecarim. That, that's where I messed this game up, was playing the Hecarim. I should have just grasped the Thresh. That's where I messed the game up, was playing the Hecarim. So I can kill I can kill the Trindomir. That's something I want to do. It'd be good if I if I draw a vengeance or Good to kill Trindomir if I would draw a Vengeance or a Ruination. Hmm. Alright. Alright, so I, I messed this game up. You know, as we talked about, uh, I should not have played the Hecarim. The Thrash was too big of a threat. I needed to grasp the Undying, the Thresh, instead of playing Hecarim. I didn't have... And honestly, because if you even think about it, like, let's say I would have just attacked with the Hecarim. If I just attack with the Hecarim, the Thresh transforms. And so that that was just really... So that was just a, a poor decision on my part, just playing playing the Hecarim. That, that's where I messed that uh, game up. But that, there we go. So we went, we went uh, two and three. Um, I'm going to try this deck again, though, you know, in the next few days. Uh, I do like this deck. I feel like, um, yeah, I mean, I feel like I, I could have done that last game better. And, and you know, like we just kind of getting the rust off the, off of the undying there, the first two games. It's a cool deck, though. Um, somebody had talked about, like, maybe, you know, what if you play Karma instead of Hecarim? You can absolutely do that. Karma is also a very good champion. Um, yeah, Karma's awesome. Uh, so yeah, you, I, you can definitely play Karma instead of Hecarim. We really struggled with like larger creatures. Whoops. This time. The box was like always frequently awkward to cast. And then, you know, just having like box, grass, withering whale, vile feast. We really struggled with like the larger creatures. Um. We needed, like, more vengeances, but... Anyway, I like it, though. Cool deck. All right, we're going to move on to uh, my favorite deck, Team of Wayfinder, up next. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and uh, feel free to leave a comment. And also, if you want your deck played on stream or if you want me to build a deck for you, it's a $10 donation. There's a donation link down below. So all, you know, donation decks are open if you are interested in seeing your deck on stream or on YouTube. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Undying Control, and I'll see you for the next video.